guys, today I wanted to kind of test printing vinyl stickers at home. So if you know anything about my business, I used to sell vinyl stickers and from the beginning, I outsourced this. I used Sticker Meal for all of my stickers. In another video, I'm doing a huge comparison of all the sticker vendors that I could find on the first page of Google. So I'm comparing and seeing who's the best. But then one of my designer friends told me about printable vinyl sticker paper. And I don't know why I've, one, never heard of this or never thought to look this up. But yeah, that's what we are going to be doing today. I will also be putting this to the test in my comparison video, but I also wanted to just make a full tutorial on this and see if it works out and compare these two brands that were highly rated on Amazon. So I have this one from HTV Ron. I think this one's glossy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's glossy. And then this one is from Joyiza. I've never heard of this, but this one's matte. So we're gonna see if one prints better than the other. So this comparison will be on a brand new printer to me. It's a lot smaller, it's a lot more affordable. So we will see if it does a good job. I'm going to use my Cricut to cut it out and do the print and cut. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna unpackage this. I'm gonna grab one sheet. Okay, I found the corner and this is the front side. So I'm just gonna write down at the bottom the brand. I'm just gonna call this Joy. Okay, yep, so that is the front and we're gonna just call this um, HTV. So I've got Cricut opened and I'm gonna go search for the design. I want this guy right here. So in my other video that I'm doing, I am comparing the exact same design for all of my stickers. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to go to my canvas. We're just going to resize this down to three and oops, got to make sure it's locked, which usually it is. I'm going to resize that down to three. So it's hard to see, but this design already has a white outline, so I don't need to add an offset. So I'm just going to hit make it and then I'm going to increase this to six because that's how many that can fit. And then I'm going to hit continue, send to printer. I'm gonna do two copies, one on each sheet. I'm gonna turn off the bleed since I don't need that. The white border was already there, it's not needed. And then I'm gonna use the system dialog so I can change the quality settings. And this is going to appear behind design space. So now under media quality, I'm gonna change this to best and then hit print and that's gonna do its job. Okay, so of course this printed right by this. And honestly, I wonder if that's gonna cause an issue with the Cricut reading. And I didn't think that through. So we're gonna come in with a pencil and I'm just gonna put a J down in this corner and I'm gonna cut this out. I really don't want that to mess up our readings. So I think if I just cut that out, it should be good. I didn't think that one through. So just pretend we didn't make that mistake. Now we're just gonna line this up. I like using a brayer roller tool to like really adhere that on to the paper, make sure it's all nice and good and not gonna come off and mess up the cut. I'm gonna use the paper setting since this seems pretty thin. It might kiss cut it, it's still gonna be fine. I'll still be able to use the sticker. But if you were wanting to sell this, I would probably use paper plus or the vinyl setting i'm not so sure so we're gonna experiment we're gonna see if it cuts all the way through or not okay one tip i have for you is when you're pulling things off the mat pull the mat away from the paper and not pull the paper away from the mat then you don't have any like paper curling or anything you don't want it like that Okay, here's the difference between the HGV Ron Glossy. You can see just how shiny that is. And then here's the more matte version. Not as much of a shine. And when I get my stickers printed from Sticker Meal, I get the matte vinyl too. So here's what this same exact file looks like printed from Sticker Meal. So this coloring is probably more accurate to what the file actually was. So it's a little bit darker. You can see the shading a little bit better. Same size, 
but my printer printed it a lot lighter and you know honestly that's okay if you've never seen this version you may have thought this is how it was supposed to look anyways i'm sure there are more settings or different printers that can print things better so that's why i'm not really going to be too upset over that mostly i just wanted to see if you could print your own vinyl stickers at home and if it actually works so i used the paper setting for both of these and you can see it peels off really nicely. If you were selling these, you might wanna do like the actual die cut. Sometimes it's hard to get that backer off. So this might be a better solution or you could make an offset that is the die cut and the interior one would be the kiss cut. So these are pretty thin. I'm not gonna lie, these are a lot thinner than when you get it professionally printed. But honestly, quality wise, it looks fine. So I'm just gonna stick that back on there as good as I can. <laughs> And then we're gonna see if this one peeled nicely. Yep, just as good. Now this one feels like paper, whereas this one actually feels like vinyl. So I am pretty curious to see if I could run this underwater. Okay, so I found this water bottle that has some of my other stickers on it. And we are just gonna test both of them right here. I'll put the Joy on top, and then I'll put HDV Rond underneath. So they go on very nicely. They look just like my other ones when you look at it at them like this. This one feels like paper though, so I am a little curious to see how that's gonna do. Honestly, they're doing pretty good. I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any issues. I don't know if, how this would do long-term like the dishwasher, but I'm not seeing any issues like flaking off or anything. Okay, honestly, this passed my expectations. I've always outsourced my vinyl sticker making and I just assumed everything outsourced would be better. Of course, when you outsource, it saves you time, but it is more expensive. So this is good to know that this is a good alternative. Now, obviously I can't prove the longevity on these stickers like I could with Sticker Mule. I mean, I've been making stickers for over three years, so I can attest to the long-term quality of those stickers, especially ones that have been on cars for three years. I can't know for sure if these are gonna be better or not, but I mean, so far they look good. So these are the two that I used. Joyza was the matte and it's a little bit thinner and HGV Rant was the glossy so yeah i think they turned out pretty decent so i hope you liked this tutorial and maybe you learned something or maybe you were inspired to make some vinyl stickers at home have a great day and let me know if you have any questions bye